Hi, what's going on YouTube? Uh, today I'm recording this video or live stream. Today we're going to be talking about my bot. My bot here. Um, make sure you guys use the link in the description to invite this Discord bot to your server. Um, I can show you guys the current commands if I go to my test bots. Um, so this is the current commands that you know he has right now. Of course you have... Uh, goodbye commands and stuff like this these are all the commands and highlighted in this that are the commands you can currently use so if i were to go to bot commands right now or as i like fan hangout and look at the bot commands if i can find them here so if i were to put down like let's say uh user info uh the bot should tell me my user info and my status. So obviously my status right now is do not disturb. So it says DND for do not disturb. I think it will say idle for idle. And then it will say I think online for online. I'm not sure. But you can see when you created your account. What ID you are. And your username and your discriminator. Which is your number. Then my account. Uh, let's see. I can't see it. Um. What is, eh, you guys should just see your tag in at the bottom of your screen, so just do that. Oops. Um, server info. Uh, member count, so you see your servers here. You can get your guild name, which is your server name, which is I was like fan hangout. You see that up there, and right here. Uh, the owner, which will list it here, which is me. Uh, you, you get your member count right now, which is 56 total people in the server besides the bots and role counts So there's 108 roles in this server It's pretty lit and then obviously you got the kill me command. So if I do kill me Just kill me right here. Oh, let's see what he said Your parents left you in a car with the windows rolled up in 115 degree weather Well, isn't that sad? So if we do kill, kill me too, there it is. Your mother mistakenly thought you were turkey after wearing a costume and you were cooked alive. Sad. Kill me three, I believe. That's one. You were eight years old and died of COVID-19. Rest in pieces. There's a kill me four. Your friend or now unfriend threw you into a pit of razor blades and you were sliced to bits. Karma. And I think there's a kill me five. I can't remember. I didn't add. The, I didn't add it to the commands list, but there's a kill me five. So, after realizing your mom hated you, you walked over to your father to let to, to let him know, and then he strangled you to death. <laughs> that's just. That's just karma. Of course, there's a few other commands if we want to go back up. Oh wait, where are they? Oh yeah, uh, just go back to here. Uh, the commands currently are kill me, you gay, uh, some of these guys are, some of these are roast commands, but you guys can test these out for yourself. Make sure you guys use the link in the description and invite him to the server, and also use the link in the description to join my Discord server. Uh, yeah, if you guys want this bot in your server, you can go ahead and do that. I'll greatly enjoy it if you do this. So, yeah. Uh, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much all I gotta say. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, yeah, I don't know what else to say. I might just keep on streaming for a little while. I don't know. Let's see. Uh, but yeah. That's basically all I gotta show you guys. Um, uh, I don't know, maybe we can do some gameplay. Because I did get on banned, so. Please invite him to your server, guys. I need my Nightbot in more than 75 servers. If you guys can help me out, and I can verify my bot. Please help, please help, guys, and please just invite him to your server. This would really help me out, guys. Um, currently, seven servers. So I need about like 69 more. Actually about 68 more. If you guys can help me out with that. I need to just make some like 
made like make one server and then invite him to it. That would really help me out, guys. I really just need your help to do this. I'm not gonna make one server. I was just gonna crash my Discord. If you guys can make an account and do that for me, this would really be useful and helpful to me in the near future. And uh, yeah, uh, thank you guys uh, for watching. Also, if I want to, we could play Hearts of Iron 4, though I don't know what to play on Hearts of Iron 4. Uh, you know what? Let's just uh, let's just play Hearts of Iron 4. So. I'll have to keep this there, but I'll just make it smaller and put this in front of the screen so it's covered. Okay, uh, let's just play Hearts of Iron 4 for a little while, so let's load it up here. Let's just hope the stream can last. Well, loads, I'm just going to be silent for a little while. Okay, so we're just going to load a map that I had, so if we just uh, load a game. I do have a 2019 game that I played a while ago, so let's just load this, load this game up here. Okay, here we are in a 2019 map of the world besides the colonies. I could free them. I mean, it would probably be a good choice, too, because... I can't really now, but whatever. We'll just play with this and with the colonies still existing. So obviously, you see the 2019 map. Besides the demilitarized Rhineland, it's all pretty good. So you get the Russian Federation, Ukraine, of course, the United States, Mexico, Germany, uh, France, Poland, Czechoslovakia, all these other countries that have been released as well. I can play as any of them here. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and play as, uh, I'll just go ahead and play as, uh, is Austria NATO? No, they're not. Hungary is in NATO, though, so I guess I'll just play as Hungary. Okay, so now we're playing as Hungary. Um, I'm pretty sure that uh, Austria is. They have a lot of troops. Uh, they don't actually. They actually don't have that much troops. So if I want to go to war with them, I could. I just need to train up more divisions, though I haven't yet. So it's just because if we're gonna go to war with Austria, we can restore the Austro-Hungarian Empire. So that's what we're gonna be doing. We don't have a focus tree for that because I don't have my mod enabled. Like I could make a mod and then show you guys that one. We'll have to see. Let me just add in my cheats because I feel like it. A diplo. There we go. So now we can build some infrastructure. We better do that anyway because it would probably be a smart decision. Got some air bases in here. We need military factories. We already have civilian factories, so it's just a uh, just get some anti-air and some forts along the Austrian border. Because if I go to war with them, it's gonna be pretty, pretty, pretty bloody. So let's just get ready for that war. Get placing forts down. Alright, so we do have enough military factories. Do we have enough production? There's a lot of production with like these. So let's, uh, let's just see how the game goes. That's right, so one more factory, so we're just going to produce the better guns. France is moving troops to my territory. Uh, are we part of NATO? I think so. Yes, we are part of NATO, which is the 
big alliance and there's CSTO. Yeah, that's basically it. So this is my 2019 map. I think I did really good, especially with NATO and all that stuff. Austria isn't in NATO, so I won't be going to war against any factions. I'll just be going to war on my own. People don't have to help me in my war because it's pretty simple to just easily kill Austria. So, um, yeah, let's train up these troops and get ready to attack. I need at least about like 50, maybe to 100 divisions to attack them. Um, because I need to defeat them relatively quickly so I can get their troops and all that stuff. So let's just delete our armies. That should be 16 total divisions right there. I could request forces. Uh, well, no, I don't really have any puppets right now, so it's not really going to help out. Uh, is that Turkey in NATO? I think Turkey's in NATO, right? Yes, Turkey is in NATO. Okay. All of Africa is also in NATO besides uh, Liberia down here. Liberia isn't in NATO, but the rest of the countries are down there. Uh, so, unless I want uh, unless I want to play as Germany and attack Austria, though, that one would be... Pretty, be pretty fair at all because Germany is, you know, pretty powerful and it wouldn't be that evenly matched because Austria is relatively small. I do only have a few troops that probably wouldn't be enough to secure the whole front line, so we at least need a bit more troops, at least like 50 probably, and then attack them. So I'm going to restore the Austro Hungarian Empire, and if I have to kill Austria, I have to kill Austria. Doesn't matter to me. I really, I really should just attack them right now and get factories and just take them over because I'm gonna need those. Uh, should we just attack them right now? Probably. Probably just go ahead and attack them. Let's do it. Uh, we might, we might be able to add reinforcements as soon as we're done with this war. So let me just get my troops ready. 22. I don't know if this is going to be a good idea, but we'll see. Okay, we don't need to surround them, literally. We could just make a smaller front, but who cares, really? We just need to border ours, because that's basically all we need right here. We don't need to border the entire, entire stuff. That's just going to be a waste of time, so let's just get ready. Our troops are already marched up, so let's go ahead and attack them. They would never expect this attack. Um, I'm going to create my offensive line to take down Linz through Salzburg and head through the rest of Austria. So it should be relatively easy to kill them. Uh, I need planes, though. Uh, I, don't, I don't really think I actually need planes because I think we'll be fine without them. Uh, because I don't know if we want to win in the air battles because we probably do need planes though. We don't need that much though. I guess I just have that like many. It's it's not that much, but I can't produce any planes, so it doesn't really matter to me. Let's go ahead and activate everything because their border is basically undefended, and let's just go for that. So we declare war on Austria, and now we can march through their territory. Wait, why is everyone attacking? Are they actually attacking too, or are they just sending troops? Wait, why do they want to join my wars? Montenegro wants to join, Macedonia wants to join, everyone wants to join my war. I only just need a few lands from Austria, so I guess we'll just, uh... I guess Montenegro, you can join, yeah. Montenegro... This is going to generate world tension. Oh my god! <laughs> Dude! Oh no! Yo, this is just going to be hell. Yo, bro. I'm going to call Germany in here. I bet they want to attack as well, so let's just get Germany in here. Are they attacking Austria? No, they're not. Germany, I know you want lands from them, so let's go. You going to join? Yep, Germany joins. Okay, so now Austria is going to die. Germany at war again. And they're at war again. <laughs> Bro, this is absolutely intense. Everyone's killing each other. Bro, what is this? Alright. 
I see you. You just took all my land. Bro, what's wrong with you? What? That's mean. That's mean, bro. All the UK's in here. <laughs> okay. Uh, yo. I can call, I can call, call, I can call some people in here if I want to. Everyone's in here, basically. I'm gonna call Canada. Canada's in the war now. Okay. This war's just about over. And Austria's dead. Okay. I only have 66, so we can't really uh, take all states. So I'm just gonna pass. Not even close. Nobody really wants anything. Austria was next. Okay. Well, there we go. We retook all of Austria. And, uh... What should we do with Austria, though? I think we can restore the Austro-Hungarian Empire. I don't know. I think maybe we can. Let's just do region-wide and anti-fascist and democratic rates. I'm also gonna just, uh... I'm also gonna just, uh... Mm, I don't know. I think I might actually give up this land to Germany. I, I don't know. I'm gonna give control of states to Germany. I can't really give control of any states, can I not? I can't really give them any states, so I have an idea. We'll just use the state transfer tool. And, uh, hey Germany, I'm gonna make a trade with you. So, I'm gonna give you Austria because I know you, these are your people and you deserve them, so. I'm gonna just give them Austria because it, it's their people. Uh, let's send our troops back home. Hey, we gave Germany Austria, so. Now, this is definitely interesting because Germany is getting more powerful. If they disband, if they leave NATO, then they're gonna become pretty powerful. It's CSTO, so uh, we could attack Russia, then that would cause an all global conflict, though we already generated 24% world tension, so it's not going to help us at all, but we'll see. Germany, what are you doing? Germany just asked Poland and Russia if they can buy land off them. Poland and Russia accept. And now Germany owns pretty much almost all of their former territory as they have right now. Pretty insane now that Germany is becoming a bigger country. They might leave NATO unless unless they do something bad, which, uh, which they could. Demands of Dayton Okay, well, Germany just probably crossed the line there. They might get kicked from NATO, but they just demanded the Sudetenland. They demanded the Sudetenland off Czechoslovakia, so let's see what happens now. Fate of Czechoslovakia. Yo, we get land? Okay, we just got some land. Uh, let's go then. <laughs> we can't really get any land off the Ukraine, but who really cares? Um, I'm gonna just ask Ukraine if I can buy this one. One million, it's mine. Bet. Okay. Woo! Bought some land off Ukraine. All right, let's see if uh, let's see how well everything goes now that Germany has the Sudetenland. They could go after Poland, but that's not gonna swell well. That's not gonna go well, but uh, we'll see what happens if Germany does attack Poland. And that and the fact is though that Poland's in NATO, so it ain't gonna go well for Germany if they do attack Poland. If two NATO countries go to war, I don't know if any uh, any other NATO countries could get involved, or I don't know. <laughs> Germany declares war on Poland, that's gonna be hell for all of us. Uh -huh. Germany goes like, nah, -uh. and now Poland is getting invaded. We'll just pretend it's getting invaded because I, we'll just pretend it's getting invaded because I don't, I don't, I, I'm not gonna do all this anyway. 
So Poland is getting invaded now. Belarus gets that part of Poland, and now that's the current borders of Germany. They took over Alsace Lorraine, bro! That's a mega Germany right there. That's what I call mega Germany. What, are, what else are they gonna do now? Oh yeah, take land off Belarus. Like that's a like that's an okay thing to do. They're expanding quite well though. Annex Luxembourg. Oh god. That's a large Germany. To think that Germany would get that big. And now now Russia takes back land off Germany and now it's all going to pot again. Pol now now that Germany's getting pushed back, it depends on what's going on now. That's insane, bruv. Now that Germany's falling, it's not helping, and it's not helping us at all. Screw you, Czechoslovakia. And the Ukraine took the land back. That doesn't help. Great. Now we're small again. Germany, you you failed, bro. You made me big and now you made me small. How special is that? Uh-oh. Stinky. I'll say Lorraine was turned back to France. Bro, what's happening to Germany? Austria has reformed. Wow. Well, isn't that amazing? Germany lost the war. Isn't Luxembourg, like, in NATO? Or are they not in NATO anymore? I don't think so, since they actually, like, uh, got kicked. Since they, like, got annexed, I don't think they're in NATO anymore. Shit. Uh... I suppose we have to make them join NATO, so let me just uh, tag FRA so they can join. Because this is France. France is the leader of NATO, so let's just see. Fight to faction. And they join. Okay, so now I can just observe and see what happens now. Well, they're disbanding their borders on Luxembourg. So there we go. Now Luxembourg's back in NATO, so this is NATO. Pretty big alliance, to say the least, especially with the U.S., Mexico, Canada on the side of it. It's a lot of countries. Russia is... has the STL, but that's it. Doesn't help, does it? 
Anyways, guys, uh, I guess that's it for our Hearts of Iron 4. I mean, you guys did see Germany grow into the German Fourth Reich, or sort of, or like... I don't know what to call it anymore. It was still democratic Germany, just so you are aware. I never changed it to Nazi Germany. So, yeah, uh, hope you guys enjoyed. That was the end of the video. Please comment, like, subscribe! <laughs> Sorry about that. Alright, anyway, uh, yeah, make sure to add my Discord bot to your Discord server. Helps me out. And, uh, yeah, rip, rip headphone users. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Time to play MM2, maybe? I don't know. Yeah, I don't believe it. Alright, anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.